Students at Bethany College gathered in Ogden Dining Hall to see Dave Coyier on February 15th. I had the chance to speak with him about his life after Full House and about the whole gang coming back for Fuller House. Did you start your whole career doing stand-up or were you into acting also? I, uh, I started as a stand-up and I um, began in high school oh, actually really? doing stand-up. My good friend Mark Sandrowski now directs the Big Bang Theory television oh. series. And he and I have been friends since we were eight years old. And wow. so uh, we were always clowning around. Mm -hmm. uh, many years of Catholic school, and um, we got in a lot of trouble for goofing around, but then we made a career out of it. Wow, okay. Is that how your show on or Full House with Joey, did you incorporate your stand-up into the character? Well, the writers uh, came to see me perform at some local clubs and they wanted to introduce some of my stand-up and some of my voices and my bits into the show. They yeah. thought that that would kind of round out the character a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, they took some of my stand-up and incorporated it in. What have you been doing since Full House? Nothing. Not a <laughs> doggone thing. And that's I, uh, good though, too. Yes. No, I keep very busy. I, uh, I do a lot of voiceovers. Mm -hmm. I do... Uh, tons of cartoons. I work on a show called China, Illinois uh -huh. on Adult Swim. I work on Robot Chicken. I'm oh, the voice okay. of uh, Kellogg's Raisin Bran. I do Geico, tons of Geico commercials, 62 of them the last year. Wow. Um, so I, I keep really busy mm -hmm. with voice work and then um, I have lots of hobbies. Yeah. I do. I like to play golf. I love fishing. I, I'm a pilot so I fly my airplane That's all over. Thing, yeah. So I, I keep busy with Lots of stuff. Yeah. I guess you could say that when it comes to show business, sometimes I'm very lazy. <laughs> but I have a book I'm working on. It's a musical okay. story book right now. It's called The Adventures of Jimmy Booger. And Jimmy is a 10-year-old booger who lives in Nova Scotia. <laughs> and he wants to be in show business. And it's coming out April 15th. John Stamos is on it. Oh. Uh, saxophonist Dave Koz. Uh, Jody Sweeten, Lori Loughlin, my I'll be sure to check it out. Full stars. It's a fun, <laughs> very immature book. What are your expectations for Fuller House? You know, I don't think we really have expectations mm -hmm. so much as we really want fans to just kind of enjoy the work that it's we've done. It's been really hyped up on social media. It has, yeah. yeah. And um, we've never been off television since we premiered on ABC in 1987, so mm -hmm. we've really never gone away. And, we're all still very close friends. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I don't think we really have expectations. It's very hard to, to do a television show and then have expectations because you never know how you're going to be received. Right. Um, you know, we just did the best work we could, tried to make the funniest shows possible, and we hope that, you know, fans come along for the ride. Yeah. And what advice would you give to students after they graduate from college? Well, I think keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, there's a big world out there, and I think I think college, um, you kind of have your own sense of community, but then you, you graduate from school and you realize that the world is this gigantic community. Yeah. And I think it's good to be open to a lot of things that are happening in the world, and, and uh, you know, just keep an open mind and, and continue learning, and, and, you know, as far as a profession, I'm often asked, you know, is there any advice? Have fun. Yeah. It has to be fun. If it's not fun, go to the next thing that is fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.